The full release of Veggie Quest is out. Dude, this demo was so good. Tons of new levels. And if you don't know this game, it's a reverse puzzle game where you have these little onion knight guys. And what they do, I think I actually need to place both down for this level, is go towards the boxes with the carrots in them. And the goal is to make it take as long as possible for them to reach the carrots. And I have only blocking walls to help me out. Of course, they have to reach carrots in general. I can't just do this or they complain. You will sit in your prison and you will like it. Because the carrot in a box is so spread out, what I almost want to consider is placing like two onions deep in a corner, knowing one of them will get the first carrot, but knowing that two cannot get the same carrot, and then using that to force them to go far. Although, I don't know where the trick is for this level, because like all I can do is create a decent maze like this. How can I stop him from getting further? Because yeah, he's just going to run around there and then bam, doesn't get me anything. I wonder if there's something I'm just missing. Could I have them start in the middle and then go on a huge journey? Or start in the top middle and like force them to go down and left? Actually force them to go even further like this and make a little zigzag on the left side or make one go all the way out? Or couldn't I also force another zigzag here in the middle? How many points does this get me? It's gotta be something at least. Well, it's one carrot solution, but I want three. What if I almost consider that the onions can't occupy the same space at the same time? Well, no, one will still leave earlier than the other. This is going to be the same. No, it's plus one. That makes sense, actually. It's so utterly cramped. I don't know what I can do. There must be some quirk about the onions themselves. Everyone's got their quirks. What if I do something like this, but more with a diagonal slant? So what I'm thinking is just a long step case, kind of like this. Two carrots got to go. Oh here than here? I mean, that seems better. I mean, that's a really long journey. Give me it. Yeah, 22. A very efficient. It also got buttons and forks. Forks are an impenetrable barrier until a button is pressed. And because I have three walls, I imagine that three of them would block the carrot and then one would be the fork. I just got to figure out which one would be which. I'm actually thinking I want to like force this guy to double back. So if he goes all the way out to the button, then comes back. What does that do for me? It gets me nothing. Well, the issue with that is if I place a second button to try to slow him down, he's just gonna go even faster. Like if I do buttons here, does that change anything? No, because each button can only be pressed once. But what about maybe a different fork position? Maybe a far away fork might be beneficial. Okay, if I have a button in front of the fork, then maybe I have to force him to hit two buttons first to go here and then there and then back possibly how about i take this button move it down does that change things now he doubles back this way that's the same pace what if i take this button move it up a little there there it's this oh a little slower so i like the idea of the button directly in front of the fork because then that forces him to hit three buttons instead of one but how do i maximize doubling back with the first two and as much as I love to like try to force him to double back all the way to here, having the button in front of the fork be so close means that he's just gonna press one button instead of three. Unless if this happens, but wouldn't this just make him do a whole big loop, sort of? It's 16. If I take this and lower this, is this 18? Well, he does a different route. 18, what about this? Okay, then he comes back, so it's back to 16. So another 18er. This onion boy is too damn smart for the whole thing. I mean, it's literally programmed so the uh, AI enemies are gonna make the smartest decisions possible. What if I don't have a button directly in front of the fork, but still press them to force them to press three buttons regardless? Well, no, because this way he could always just go up, right? Yeah, just press one button. The only way to force three buttons is in fact to have one of them be in front of the fork. Well, what the fork? This puzzle looks impossible to even get one carrot on, but Clearly I'm missing something. Well, what if this is how it's blocked? I could do like, well, I could do something like this actually. I forced them to go all the way up, then double all the way back. That's kind of interesting. Oh, 24, not even using all the buttons. Well, hold on, couldn't I take this to the next level? Put the fork all the way here, then two buttons. It has to be two, not one, because otherwise he doesn't double back. Oh, that is so clever. That is so clever. One of the buttons is a bait. The puzzle design is amazing. 
I've got a new type of enemy, the yellow pepper. Never seen him before. He can only move one tile right up or upright. Can never move left, can never move down. I have to place the dirt paths. So I could have him like go up first and then right. Although he's always going to jump this corner. We might as well just call spade a spade. He would go something like this. He would not go up left. I could make him go up more and then like this. I don't know. Is that what it wants? Oh, yeah, that's just all it wants. Okay, pretty simple starter puzzle. The red pepper can only move left, down, or down left. So he can't actually get to the carrot yet, but I have portals, which he could use to teleport to the other side of the map. But uh, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Like, ideally, actually, I would want a series of several portals that maybe looks like this. Now, this isn't ideal yet, but this is probably a good start. Because here he goes, go, bo, 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 that's not even close. I mean, do we actually need this wall? He can't go right, so, you know, who cares? What if I change up the portals then? Hold on. He goes down first, but then, like, ends up here. Now, I will block left or movement to begin with, but, like, since he can't go right, I could probably just use portals to send him right. Like that, like this, and then to there? I mean, that's a lot longer because he's got to go in every column. Can never go right. Yeah, cool puzzle. Both peppers ready for a duel. Only one of them has to reach the carrot. How, who's it going to be? Well, let me see something. What happens if I just try to do a solution similar to the previous one? Where basically I teleport him to the right as early as possible, then force him to go up in columns. Is at least... Oh, oh, whoops. You can skip like that. Hold on. Got to fully block you off then. There we go. Ah, uh, shoot. You can also skip like this. Okay, this should actually cover it. Force him to go all the way up. Now, does it at least give me one carrot? <laughs> no. Okay. Gotta be more creative. Maybe this long journey would simply just lead to a button press? Yeah, button press. And then this is actually like a fork wall that frees the pepper. So it's a little longer now. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Well, it gets me one carrot. Well, how do I slow down pepper number two? What if I take both of these and just move them one down? Because then what I could do... Mm, I actually might need a bit more than just one. I was thinking like I could have an additional portal somehow. But he could simply choose to ignore that portal. That might just mess up the yellow pepper. What about a weird mustache -y portal? I mean, that actually slows down yellow pepper, funny enough. But did it speed up, speed up red pepper? I guess. Let me maybe try to rework the portal network. So what if... Instead of uh, him going up, then up, then up, then up, then up, he goes right, then right, then right. Does that change much? Well, what this appears to be changing, actually, is going to be how the red pepper reacts to the portals. Now, the thing is, I don't know exactly how it will, but it will let me actually get the button in the corner. So at least that portion can be longer. But yeah, I have no idea what... Huh? Oh, dude can just go up. Uh, that's awkward. Well, that's fine. I can just take this and then move this over one and put a wall here. I think that's fine then. There, problem solved. Okay. Big, long journey. What's gonna happen with the red pepper? Goes over to there to there. Oh, longer! But still only one carrot's worth. But that's interesting. Well, hold on. What if red pepper is forced to go further down then? Like, what if there's a long wall... And then we have the zigzag of portals, which is shorter, yes. I can also take the button and move it all the way up here. Does this work? Well, so it's a shorter journey for the yellow pepper, even though it has to round the corner. But then the red pepper has to make the same painful journey, right? Is that pretty long? Ooh, two carrots. Yeah, three carrots. 55. Awesome puzzle. How do they keep making bangers like this? Onion and pepper. There's no portals. So I imagine there has to be a button at the end of a long winding journey that only the onion can get to, which then unlocks both paths or just unlocks one of the paths. Like I could do something like this, actually. This would force the onion to get to the button. And obviously it's not good enough, but I can make the journey better, right? Let's see. Onion goes up, then down, and then up again, all the way to here. I mean, it's certainly longer. One hell of a journey even. There's the button, but still no care rewards. Maybe I have to make it so the onion would have to spend a long time getting back? Like, what if this is the wall and this was the fork? Yeah, the pepper has to go to the rightmost carrot, 
So naturally, the onion has to massively double back then. Huge double back. Giant double back. 49. Only two carrots, but good progress. Super easy change here, actually. Am I able to just move the button back a bit and just create a little bit extra length? Nothing too much, but this might just be the difference maker. Oh, it is. Okay, I was actually about to get whole reworking with the thing. Very cool puzzle. Our return of the Cucumber Man. He can go in any direction, including diagonals. And I gotta place a yellow pepper. Actually, I guess I don't have to, but somehow the puzzle becomes harder when he's involved. Well, yeah, because the cucumber is right next to the carrot. It's a one-turn win, so I, I gotta place this guy. So I imagine if I start the pepper here, he has to go to the far carrot. So the cucumber has to go on one hell of a journey. So I don't know, cucumber races around. He's just gonna be behind the pepper guy. Like, this is obviously not it. This wastes so much space. It does actually get me one carrot, surprisingly. I did not expect that. I gotta remember, it's the cucumber that hits the buttons. Maybe I gotta do something like this. Force the cucumber through. And then double back. I mean, I guess these blocks don't even really matter. Yeah, these blocks don't actually stop anything. Oh, shoot. Cucumber can just go that way. Okay, well, extremely far button. I could also do a move like this. What about this, actually? Cucumber has to come down and then back around. I mean, this is one hell of a journey, actually. Yeah, three carat journey. Oh, the return of the bunnies. These are the enemies to the enemies. Basically, any of our heroes with swords do not want to touch a bunny. And when bunnies touch each other, they multiply. So how do I use that to my advantage? So let's say hypothetically our man's path is a staircase, just kind of highlighting this. I wonder if I can use like bunnies to stall it immensely. <laughs> uh, that did nothing. I suppose I could literally force him to round the corner. Or he starts by like going down. And there's like a long haul that he can only go in as soon as the bunny lets him. So like if I do something like this, he's got to wait, right? Then he'll jump in front of that bunny, of course. What's the longest I could make him wait? It's a little longer, but not much. Maybe I could start by not having the rabbits be so low. Like, I'm pretty sure the same thing could happen with a row like this. Like, here I would need to have rabbits here. Which does stall them for the exact same amount of time. Well done. I mean, the next thing I could do is have them wait for the other rabbit. But I have no idea of the timing of this. But that stalls them for a bit longer. It's not even close. Maybe I need to create some thing where he needs to pass both rabbits at the same time, but the rabbits are offset, so there's like only one gap for him to be able to shoot through. Like, I know this is Nick, because he's just gonna run there, but I wonder if the idea makes any sense or if it's just dumb. Maybe just dumb. I don't know, I think the bunnies need to get mating somehow. But they need to mate faster than that, which is actually impressive. Faster. Faster bunnies. He does not care. How do you even think about this level? Oh, wait, there's a new button. There's a bunny only button that shows how they mate. It's for testing purposes only, and I'm not at that phase yet, but that will be helpful eventually. I'm gonna try to make a bunny making engine. Look like this, although let me shift it over a little. Like what happens with the bunny is that they make bunnies and then they make more bunnies and then make more bunnies and it's all crazy nightmare. Is it winnable? Yeah, because he just goes. He just goes. He doesn't give a damn about the bunny engine. He just skips right over it. Not understanding the passion it takes to generate bunnies like this. What if I just make it take longer for the bunnies? What I mean by that is um, I generate them more down here and force him to come down and around. Well, this is impossible now. Why is this impossible? So we have the bunnies. He can't... Uh, Okay, there's just too many bunnies being made. There is no gap for him. This feels impossible. Either I block off the path for this guy, or he just gets in too fast. So you know how you get your best ideas in the shower? Well, I tried that and it didn't work. So all I have left is weird, strange guessing. Or we'll call it experimentation. What happens if I have the bunnies here and force him to go through? Eh, he, he does great. 
How about I try to go with that idea of just like having two offset bunnies that only creates one gap somehow once every blue moon? What if I do something weird like this? Where the bunny running back and forth will already stall our boy quite a bit. But like, what if the time he would jump in, there's another bunny perfectly blocking? So let's see, exactly when does he go? He goes at move nine. So at move nine, there needs to be another bunny there. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero? Do I count zero actually? I'm not sure. Well, then he just goes after. What if I do it more like this? This is impossible. Actually, I can find out why it's impossible. Oh. Oh. It's because this bunny is on a loop of two, and the top bunny is on an even loop and not an odd loop. If it were on an odd loop, then it might work, but uh, if it's doubling back, then there's no way for it to be an odd loop. You always take the distance, multiply by two, it's always even, so... What if I take this idea, but take away his ability to use diagonals? What if in the very beginning, he's forced to go horizontal like this, but then there's like a random ass gap here, and then a second route with a second gap. In fact, I can actually take this whole thing, move it up one, and I will. First gap occupied by the first bunny. How do I make him wait as long as possible? Well, it's not necessarily about the first bunny, but rather about the vertical bunny. Or maybe it could be a tale of two bunnies. I don't know. I, I, I'm forcing him to go vertical is just the same idea, but with extra steps, but like not the good kind of steps. What about something a little interesting? If I can't have it bounce back and forth every other time, because what that would do is just make it impossible to go right in front of or behind the bunny. What if I'm able to have the bunny be right in front of the bunny and right behind the bunny the first time, but not afterwards? And it would almost go like that. So you couldn't sneak in front of him, nor can you sneak behind him. But if you keep playing it out, eventually he'll be able to do it. Now, does it work? No, he goes too early right now. Ah, let's try that. He who waits a bit. He gets 18, yes, but that's because I think I set it up wrong. So I want to start by maximizing the first rabbit's location. What I want to do is just see, yeah, if I can get this guy delayed as long as possible. What if he's here? It delays. 19. So then I need to block off the pepper here. So the second bunny needs to be here on 15 and 17. 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Like that. So let's make sure it works as well as I think it does. All right, so there's that. And now, well, it's a touch longer. And it doesn't get even a carrot. What if I change it up a little? What if I do a more vertical passage and follow up the horizontal passage? So what I'm thinking right now is because, like, there will be this row back and forth on the bottom, there's only like one time in which the pepper can get past the bottom bunny, and that is when the bunny is here and it can cut in front of the bunny and go over. But because this bunny takes a root of six, this bunny takes a root of seven, they'll be on different parities. So I wonder if I could use that to extend the length. Uh, this is impossible right now. Hold on. Let's go like this. Yeah, a bit more like that. So he's just got to wait for the perfect timing. And actually, this is taking quite a bit. Okay, there we go. One carrot. Ideal. 47. Now, notice this did not work. Just impossible. Uh, is this also impossible? It is. That does mean I could also place him here. And let's see if that's better with timing. So far, it's worse. Okay. Noted. So maybe I have to just offset the top bunny a little. I think offset him by one. And then move this guy, I think, here. No, that's the fastest one. So this is the slowest one. And hopefully it's slow enough. Please work. Yes! 58! If I did do more than that, I would have been shocked. Well, that completes one world. Notice I am only 26% done with this game. There is so much more and I can't wait to play it. So thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.